Worst Ways People Have Died, Part 21. Worst Ways People Have Died, Part 57. On Monday at a site in New Jersey, a tape measure somehow fell off a construction worker's tool belt and fell 50 stories down. The tape measure weighed just a pound or about 450 grams, but that was heavy enough to kill Gary Anderson. The tape measure hit him knocking him out. He later died at the hospital. Dumbest Criminals Ever, Part 42. This is Isaiah Halls. According to the local news station, Isaiah's grandma was asleep, and he really wanted some McDonald's. So the year old decided to pick up the phone and call asking if they could bring him McDonald's. When Officer Dan Patterson heard the story, he laughed, but decided to pick the boy at McDonald's on the way. No one responded when he knocked on the door, so Dan tried the window instead. When Isaiah saw the officer, he asked the officer to go away because he didn't want his grandma to be upset. His grandma was glad he learned what an emergency really was and no charges were pressed. The worst ways people have died. Okay, firstly, this is so horrible it sounds fake. This mother pushed her son for two days on a swing until he died. That mother was later put into a mental institution. All right, next, a 39-year-old man in the Philippines decided to face his fears and go on a roller coaster with his family. But as it went up, he started to have a panic attack and move around and kick all in his seat. But when it did a flip, he fell off the ride to his death. Finally, this took a turn for the worst. After this woman was celebrating her proposal, she accidentally fell off a 65-foot cliff to her death. Worst Freak Accidents, Part 1. The time a girl jumped with no cord. That girl was 25-year-old Yesenia Morales. She was 25 years old, and she was a lawyer from Colombia. In July of 2021, her and her boyfriend would decide to go bungee jumping at the Amaga Bridge. This was Yesenia's first time bungee jumping, and they were about 90th in line, and once it got closer to their turn, they got their harnesses put on them, but that's all. Shortly after, they attached the cord to the boyfriend, but only the boyfriend, and they give the cue for him to jump, but Yesenia misreads that sign, and she jumps herself with no cord attached. 
Her boyfriend had also jumped, but he had the cord attached, so she just free fell for 160 foot before hitting the ground, but it's said that she passed during the fall due to a heart attack. Celebrities who predicted their passings, part four, Aaliyah. Aaliyah was a famous musician known to some as the princess of R&B and the queen of urban pop, but on August 25th of 2001, her life was cut short in a plane crash. Around a month before the plane crash, Aaliyah spoke about a recurring dream that kept happening where she said, someone is following me, I don't know why, I'm scared. Then suddenly I lift off far away, how do I feel? As if I'm swimming in the air, free, weightless. Nobody can reach me, nobody can touch me. It's a wonderful feeling. And if that's not enough, just moments before she got on the plane, she told her boyfriend that it just doesn't feel right. And he said, well, don't get on the plane. But she replied, you know I gotta do it. And she did, and then the plane crashed and she lost her life. Hey. Hey. You playing a little dress up? Yeah. Yeah, good. It's fun to pretend. Worst ways people have been unalived, part five. The woman who was embalmed alive. This is 28-year-old Ekaterina Fudieva from Russia. She had recently been diagnosed with ovarian cysts and wanted to have them removed. So on March 15th of 2018, she went in for surgery. The very routine operation went just as planned. This is when the fatal mistake comes in. Instead of her being administered a saline drop, she was given formaldehyde. If you don't know, formaldehyde is something morticians typically use to preserve and keep a body as fresh as they can. The staff tried flushing her body with water, but to no avail. The chemicals started to attack her body. For over 12 hours, her organs started to fail and shut down. She remained unconscious for three weeks, all while being hooked up to machines to try and keep her organs from failing, but she soon passed. Worst ways people have died. Michael Jackson. On June 25th, 2009, Michael Jackson from an excessive dose of propofol. Propofol was given to him by his new doctor he just hired. Jackson had already been given lorazepam and midazolam and then took Valium in an effort to fall asleep. His doctor Conrad Murray has been convicted of involuntary manslaughter 